everyone, I'm Sarah Catterall. I'm the Education Officer at Goulburn Museum. Thank you for joining us for our third craft for April's Virtual Family Craft Day with the theme, Show Me the Mushu from Disney's Mulan, which is probably my favorite Disney movie. Okay, so I won't give away any spoilers if you haven't seen the movie, but at the end of the film, you know if you've seen it, there's some scenes with a lot of fireworks. So what we're gonna do is make our very own firework popper um, so you can set off safely indoor fireworks at home. So make sure that you have your craft supplies list for craft number three. Okay, so what we're going to be starting with is uh, a tube, uh, a cardboard tube of some kind, um, toilet paper, you can cut down, um, paper towel tube, any kind of cardboard tube. And this part's really, really fun because you get to decorate this however you want. You can use paint, stickers, ribbons, markers, crayons, pencil crayons, washi tape, whatever you have, you can take this colored tube decorate this however you want. So I took mine. I used paint and pencil crayons. I don't know if you can see that I did a tropical theme. You definitely can't see that. Do a tropical theme. There you go, because I feel ready for some sun. I don't know about you guys. So this is going to be my Canon body. So I have my colored cardboard tube. The next thing that you're going to want to do is you are going to want to take out one normal size balloon, just like this, and you're gonna take that balloon and you are gonna cut it in half across the top, because we don't need all of the balloon. So you're just gonna cut it in half. Extra piece can be a choking hazard for small kids and pets, so just make sure you dispose of that properly. And now, we should keep the end that you would normally tie up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cardboard tube, take our balloon, uh, the half that we have left, and we're just going to wrap that balloon bottom around our cardboard tube, and we're gonna fasten it with a strong piece of tape. So scotch tape won't work for this. Um, we need to use, uh, I'm using duct tape. Um, if you have clear packing tape, that will work as well. And just make sure that the end of the balloon that you normally tie is sticking upright. Um, so I'm gonna use a piece of duct tape not the most beautiful color of duct tape, um, but you can always paint over your duct tape once you're done uh, taping it on so that it matches your, um, your cannon. So just make sure that's pulled, your balloon's pulled nice and tight and you're securing it really secure with some strong, some strong tape, okay? So if you pull on this, whoop, um, there shouldn't be any, uh, the, the balloon should not come off in any way, shape or form. Okay, so, the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is get some confetti, homemade confetti, to put inside your cannon. And that can take many, many different shapes. So you can use sequins at home, you can use uh, glitter, although for those of you who do the vacuuming, you'll be vacuuming up glitter for a long time. Um, and uh, I've used construction paper. So you can take an array of construction paper, just like I did here, and I cut it up into really teeny tiny pieces just like this. You can use a hole punch at home if you have one. So get your, your uh, homemade confetti ready. Take your can popper, prime the end, so pinching, pulling like you would tying a balloon, and then tie it like you would a balloon. Okay, I've got a knot now for my cannon. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna take our homemade confetti so for me, you can see that's just a bunch of cut up construction paper. I'm going to fill my cannon with the confetti. And now all we have to do is pull down on our balloon and set off our cannons. <laughs> so thank you for joining us for April's Family Craft Day and we are excited to see you for our next one in May. Please feel free to email us um, or uh, find us on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter to ask us if you have any questions or feedback. We'd love to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for joining us.